Hello, my name is Miss. <laughs> my name is Miss Jessica from the Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois, and I have my science helper, Kaylee. <laughs> We're here today to show you some painting with water as part of our playful learning at home. So let's get started. So all you need for this, you need some water and rock. And paint brushes. We also have some paint brushes and some rocks that we just gathered from around yeah. our house. And you can go ahead and paint the rocks and see what kind of fun color changes you can get. You can try to do a What kind of patterns are you getting? Nothing. I'm just painting the whole thing. Now, what kind of color change do you think this will have? Tea. Wow! It's teal! It got a lot darker, didn't it? It's teal. It's teal, it's teal. Now how about it's this one? Bubbles. <laughs> oh, looks like our paintbrush has been Ooh. washed. It's like that color. Yeah, it gets darker. Hmm, I wonder about this one. This one, Ooh. I have a little paintbrush. I can see if I can go and just color in some of the dots. Ooh, this one, as soon as the water touch, it seems to spread out across the rock. Where are some other places that I've had you paint with water in our yard? On the fence. Yeah, our wooden fence is a great place to go and paint with water. This is a great one to do as an outdoor activity in the springtime to go and explore. Let's paint all of them. To just go and take a cup Ooh, of water. It's like a rag. You can use a paintbrush. You can go and use an old rag. Do. You can find Ooh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that one didn't change too much. It. Best thing is, these ones will dry out and they are reusable just within a couple of minutes. Yeah. Some of them have some surprising colors hiding in them. And if you're careful and find a nice flat can one. Can I do that one? I was gonna try to draw a face on it I'll because it's, it. oh, can you draw the face with the little paintbrush? Mm, doo, doo, doo. It's a nice little face. Well, let's see. Is it going to turn out nice? Well, let's see if I can do it with a bigger paintbrush. This is going to be tricky. Done. Oh, very nice. Can you show it to the camera? Do, 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 do. Oh. I leave a little girl in the movie theater. Oh, uh, this one's dripping all over. Oh, my face smeared too much. The big paintbrush was too big. I can, can I try the big paintbrush? Uh, the big paintbrush was too big. Oh, no. It's drying out already. We're going to have to repaint that can one again I soon. Try? Oh, this one is interesting. I Ooh, see, see light on one side and dark on the other. Let's I wonder see what, what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh, that one got very dark. Ooh. Now I'm going to just... Ooh, it looks like a meteor. Um, it I'm going to draw like... a face. Now, is it a meteor if it's mm -hmm. on the ground? Did you know that if it's on the ground, do you know what it's called? Rack. It's a meteorite. Oh, <laughs> that looks like a cyclops because it only has one eye. <laughs> no, it had two. Oh, well... I only saw one, so it looked like a cyclops to me. So I hope you have fun trying out this fun activity at home. Resources for many activities, just like this. Do you want to help say goodbye with me, Kaylee? Bye! <laughs> Resources for many activities like this can be found on the link in the description or on our Playful Learning at Home webpage on the Discovery Center Museum website. If you try this at home, please share a picture and use the hashtag Discovery Center Science so we can see your lovely I'm creations. Silly, silly, silly. Thanks for playing today. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities, or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.